Before we can do the position of the violin, we need to talk about how to put the shoulder rest on. The shoulder rest is this element that we put on to help us hold the violin. You can absolutely hold the violin without a shoulder rest, and some people do, but it just means that your shoulder will have to come up much higher. This can be quite a bit uncomfortable, especially to start. So I recommend using a shoulder rest. There's many different options out there. This is my favorite one by FOM, but you can find the one that works for you. The most difficult is how to put this shoulder rest on the violin. So looking at the shoulder rest, we've got a higher part and a lower part of the shoulder rest. We're gonna have the lower part towards our shoulder and the higher part towards the chest. Hold the violin with your left hand at the neck and hook the shoulder rest on the top of the instrument and then use your hand to adjust the bottom. Once you've got it on there, we can adjust it to your particular dimensions, but we need to make sure that the lower part is ready for the top of the violin and the higher part is ready for where it's going to touch your chest. The shoulder rest adjusts inward and upward. So every violin is a little bit different on the bottom bout so if it has a wider bottom bout, you're going to need to unscrew the shoulder rest feet, adjust it to a wider dimension or a narrower dimension. These also tend to stretch out, so be aware that that's okay. Also be aware that if you have a longer neck, you're gonna want a higher height. If you have a shorter neck, you're gonna want a shorter height. You're going to need to adjust this several times to figure out what works for you. On the violin, holding the instrument is one of the most complicated elements to get started with. It's not very normal to have a violin on your shoulder up there. So I call it the one, two, three, four. So one, you're standing with your feet together. Number two, you'll have your feet about hip width apart. Number three, making sure you have a nice strong hold with these four fingers on the outside and the thumb on the inside of the violin. Stretch your violin out above your left toe. Number four, we're gonna come around, get it happy on your shoulder first. Notice that the shoulder rest is right against my shoulder, and then allow your chin to come down. Very important that the jawbone is on the chin. You don't want this, and you don't want this. Your head should be upright, looking straight ahead, with the violin over your left shoulder and left toe. You know you've had a great position if it feels comfortable. Do expect it'll take one to four weeks to get this comfortable. Another way to double check is what I call the violin hug. When you put your left hand on the opposite shoulder, making sure that the violin is in a comfortable position. It's a great idea to try this only with a friend, a partner, or a parent to be able to make sure the violin doesn't drop at this point. 